I want to talk about shyness and the experience that I had that initiated the shyness. Basically, the experience is the energy experience, meaning the particular emotion or feeling that I felt within myself uh, that de that defined the experience and so uh, that defined the experience into shyness so shyness is in fact a consequence outflow from definitions as pictures and basically form pictures shape anything that has form and shape I created a definition out of it, or in other words, a relationship. Um, I can stick a lot of words in between, uh, which all of them are basically synonymous. Relationship, uh, definition, uh, word, uh, judgment, uh, a calibration, which is basically a relationship <laughs> you tune something to a particular specific uh, effect and that effect is in fact the relationship a relationship is basically a judgment upon something or someone based on one's own memories that is attached to a physical form or a physical picture Thus, one is not, in fact, seeing the form or the picture directly. One is seeing one's relationship to that form, that picture that one calibrated within one's mind. And so, I, 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 uh, this point was with a particular female, you know. And the female is, uh, is not... Uh, does not have a feminine expression basically what I mean by feminine is the relationships as judgment and uh, all of the definitions that goes into making and creating what it means to be feminine and so I created a shyness because I didn't know how to act around her I see her as um, very um, specific in her expression from the perspective that she I interpret her as being able to read me very clearly and so my external expression my superficial expression which is my form and the superficial um, movements and gestures and voice tonality all of that I impress upon her and I judge myself being around her as as being uh, serious or being formal but within myself I see myself as being uh, imperfect from a perspective that I impressed upon her as as me being this perfect or nearly uh, or nearly perfect and formal, sophisticated and responsible human being, but the back chat that uh, or the internal dialogue within myself is, you know, I'm not that perfect. Why do I why do I impress this upon her? Uh, it's because. Um, She's um, her uh, her movements, uh, her eye movements, or you know, you can tell that it's like well, not tell, but I interpret her as as being this. Um, I don't take shit kind of personality. 
uh, no nonsense personality, basically, um, by just how she moves. And so, with me seeing her like that, uh, I judge myself as 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 having imperfections. And so, I see myself as trying to be. Um, perfect, straight, or formal to and around her based on her no-nonsense personality that I impressed upon her. Um, so therefore, it is my relationship to no-nonsense uh, wherein there are points within myself that I am not in fact living self-honestly. And so that would be the reason why I would have a reaction to her. Uh, so I just uh, want to do some self-forgiveness, basically, for accepting and allowing myself to project a no-nonsense personality. Um, and even if she does have a no-nonsense personality, even if it's cross-referenced by multiple amounts of people, the situation here is that I created a reaction to being serious and having uh, more of a kind of a responsible or formal um, ex expression it's because I am not living that self honestly within my world in reality. I'm not living a I'm not living my words equal in one. And so uh, that's what I, why I would impress um, that upon her. So my self-forgiveness for this is I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to participate in the design of and as the fear of survival as form, meaning you know, I impressed this relationship of her ha having no nun no nonsense, or um, and so I fear the design of an as fear of survival within form. Meaning, it is her f form that I attach this relationship to, fearing that. I, uh, fearing my self-dishonesty to myself, um, fearing to be self-dishonest around this particular individual, believing that I am this somewhat evolved person from the perspective of evolve within taking uh, self-responsibility for myself in every moment. Um, so within this, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to not take self-responsibility, but to instead impress an interpretation of no nonsense onto this particular individual, wherein within this, I create a personality of being self-responsible instead of actually being responsible uh, within my world and reality. Uh, And if I look deeper at this not taking self-responsibility, if I look at the experience that comes up, I see, realize, and understand that there is um, what comes up is basically uh, me being um, me not being a man of my word, basically where I, where where I failed to be a man of my word, uh, where I allowed myself to procrastinate, and so procrastination is the point here, basically. And if I have a look at a particular specific memory associated with this, it is with. Uh, a friend of mine in the past that used to tell me, you know, Lynn, 
you're not living your words. Uh, and I'm basically reliving that point instead of taking self-responsibility. What is it that I need to take self-responsibility for? Uh, one is to stop procrastinating. Um, two, uh, 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 be self-honest in every moment. Instead of allowing self-dishonesty within my world and reality when it comes to friendships and relationships. Uh, uh, relationships from the perspective of it doesn't have to be a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Just a relationship in general. Uh, family relationship, friendship relationship, etc. And so I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to doubt whether I am the one that is self-responsible or whether I am the one that um, is fearing to take self-responsibility. Um, wherein within that fear I create an outflow of a uh, of an interpretation to and towards another person that I see within my eyes as being straightforward uh, and taking no nonsense. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to blame the physical existence uh, for c creating forms in such a way that I react to forms within my world. Now what I mean by this is, you know, friendships and uh, relationships and whatnot, it is the form of an individual that I create a relationship to. And so therefore, with this relationship to form, I react to the particular individual based on their form. Because if it wasn't for their form, if they looked like another person, there would, there, uh, I wouldn't have the same reactions toward them. It would be different reactions, and so therefore, it is because of form that I that I create all of these relationships, all of these reactions within myself, because of memories attached to forms, and I blame the physical. Uh, when and as I react, that is, in fact, blaming the physical for creating different types of forms and pictures instead of taking self-responsibility to have a look at my relationship to that form and release my, uh, <clears throat> my relationship to form so that I can become free for real and actually speak with the individual uh, equal in one with and as myself. Inequality in one is meaning that I don't react to the person, I'm actually speaking directly to them. I'm actually communicating directly to the individual. And so I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to make the excuse that I have to survive as the personality within reactions. Believing that reactions are protecting myself within shyness and, and, and that I am being protected if I am shy. Um, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to justify this relationship with shyness uh, within my world and reality, believing that shyness is myself. And that when and as I hold back, that I am holding back part of me, when in fact I am simply holding back a reaction as blame. Therefore, I commit myself to assist and support myself to stop existing within shyness, have a look at what it is that I am projecting onto the other individual. And that which I am projecting onto the other individual, I have a look at myself and my relationship to that, uh, that judgment, that projection. Uh, I have a look at both the desire and the fear because I know that I am fearing shyness, uh, that I am fearing when I am shy, 
that there there is something that I am fearing through holding back. So what is the desire? Within this particular situation, the desire is to be perfect around them uh, or nearly perfect around them in such a way that I present myself as responsible, as self-responsible. But if I am desiring that, that means that I am not living that because I created a desire to that believing that I don't have that. So therefore, it is me not taking self-responsibility within my world to manifest that relationship as myself, as becoming self-responsible. So basically, it is to commit myself to have a look at the relationship of shyness and have a look at both polarities and to, to actually live that de desire as myself instead of desiring it as an experience. Am I going to constantly and continuously exist in and as experiences, or am I going to uh, make a stand and live that experience as myself, as a true expression? Thank you.